Okay, I'm going to send a message to my Instagram account and you will notice that I will not get a notification that pops up over here. Okay, so as you can see, the notification just came up here and I, it was not over here. So that means that I'll have to slide down to see what the message was. So this is it. It just says hello. So if you want notifications like to pop up over here, they are actually called floating notifications or floats notifications. I don't know, it has to do with floats, so it can be floating or floats. So what you need to do is just make sure you turn it on for any app that you would want it to be activated on. So what you want to do is to head over to your phone settings, this icon over here. And then you head over to apps, so this one here. And then you tap manage apps. This is how my phone is, so yours may be different. So just wait for your apps to load and then you look for the app you wish to get those notifications on. So if it's your text messaging app, you're going to find the messages app here. But for this video, I want to do it for Instagram. So I'll look for Instagram. I can even tap here, like this bar, this search bar up here to search. So let me just search for Instagram. Okay, so here is Instagram. I'll tap it. And then I'll scroll down till I get to notifications so i'll tap it as you can see it says um, allow floating notifications so you can see it is turned off that is why the notifications just come up as a dot at the top so if i enable this then i'm going to try it again so you guys can see now that uh, the message will show up like will pop up from now on okay so i'm going to send the message now and as you can see this time it popped up and um, I can see the message that was sent to me on Instagram. So that is how you do the floating notifications. This is specifically for Instagram where you can do it on any app you want that receives notifications. As you can see, I have a WhatsApp, like a WhatsApp notification up here, but it didn't pop up. That's because I deactivated it for WhatsApp. So if you want that thing, you can follow the same steps to enable it for your own app okay thank you for watching if you found the video helpful please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this i will see you in the next video take care and bye bye